Everybody is taking their um, their pet space projects out for a test ride. Stockton native and NASA astronaut Jose Hernandez is all in for the new era in space flight. After Virgin Galactic's successful first voyage to the edge of space today, Hernandez spoke from his Stockton home about this new normal in space travel. Release, release, release. It is a new kind of space race. I call it keeping up with the Jetsons instead of the Joneses. NASA astronaut Jose Hernandez watched Richard Branson's successful trip to the edge of space. Good thing about it is that uh, we have three good viable companies that are going to give us access to space. Besides Branson, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos are also planning trips with their space companies, Bezos later this month. Hernandez says if offered a seat by any of them, his answer would be easy. Would you take him up? In a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. I, I would love to go back up. Hernandez went to the International Space Station in 2009 with NASA and says this new opportunity in space travel means more people will have an opportunity to see the world in this new way, a profound experience that could even prevent conflicts. From this perspective, we're just one. And I wish our leaders, now that space tourism is coming online, should be a requirement that any world leader that comes into power, uh, take a space flight so they can see our world from that perspective. Hernandez says besides space tourism, Virgin Galactic success could also lead to much faster travel on Earth. You can imagine uh, leaving New York uh, and going to Singapore in an hour as opposed to a 14-hour plane ride. Space flight for civilians, no longer a vision for the future. It's available now. Nice to get his perspective on this. Hernandez pointed out that fewer than 600 people have ever experienced space flight up until now, and that's a number that could rise dramatically in the coming years.